I'm so excited about rolling hills and every day is an adventure. I, I wake up every day with a, a, a vision of, God, what are you going to do in my life today? We have in our lives divine appointments from God where He allows our paths to cross the path of someone in need. And that's really the foundational aspect of this ministry, whether it's in recreational ministry where we started 30 years ago in the state parks and we still do that today, or it's in our international ministry, which is relatively new, our thrift stores, our compassion ministry, our educational ministry, disaster relief that's in the forefront of everybody's mind right now because of the recent hurricane. All of that gives us opportunities to impact the lives of people with the love of Jesus Christ. Every year, we're able to provide 30,000 meals to rural food banks across North Louisiana. During a hurricane activation, we provide 100,000 to even 200,000 meals as we work with Red Cross or the Salvation Army. Along with those meals, we're able to provide tens of thousands of dollars in gift cards that we give to those who've been affected by the hurricane. In our state park ministry every year in Lake Claiborne, Lake Darbone, and Jimmy Davis State Park, we average around 1,200 in attendance of building relationships and encouraging others. One of the favorite things I hear is if I'm in a group, someone mentions rolling hills and another person may say, I love rolling hills. I love shopping in that store. Not too long ago, I saw the word serendipity used in the newspaper. I thought, that's rolling hills. That's being able to find something good accidentally. And that's, if you'll come to Rolling Hills, you will find a lot that's good. Everyone works together, everyone pulls together. It's, it's like a family. It's another family for me. My boss, Ms. Jerry, said, what do you do all day? And I said, nothing. <laughs> And she said, would you like a job? And I just nodded my head, I couldn't, I couldn't speak. <laughs> so then the next day, she gave me a job application and I took it home. My parents started crying and I was started crying. And I filled it out and the next day I got hired. It's been amazing. <laughs> God is good. <laughs> Just coming to work every day, it's a blessing. The people are like a second family to me. Everybody here is like a second family to me. But I remember a man came back, he showed up and he was looking for clothes for a job interview. He had uh, had a rough spat with his girlfriend that he was living with and um, uh, had to, was kicked out of the house without anything and he just had you know, regular city clothes, and he was trying to get a job interview. And so um, we helped him to be able to get some clothes for his interview. And I saw him two or three months later, he saw me in the store and stopped me. He said, in his wor new work uniform, he said, I want you to know I got the job. You know, you were able to help me. And, you know, it's just really good to see these opportunities that we're really helping people. Through Rolling Hills Ministries, we are able to share the love of Jesus while also offering a free education to our students. Our students know that whenever they have a problem, they can come to us and we will pray for them and love them while also helping them achieve their goal in earning their high set. I feel like we've just really begun because the need is so great. It just excites me that I have the opportunity every day to be involved in something that I truly believe with all my heart is making a difference in the lives of people.